know. Wake up in the morning and buy. Judges, but you just shouldn't smoke anywhere outside. Presidio County Sheriff's Department, not fucking cool with that. Okay. They don't like the artists. It's no joke. Great. Okay. Devin. Devin. Hey. Oh. Next door. I mean, yeah, I know who you are. I work for the Institute, so I take care of everything around here. Oh, So great. if you need anything fixed or whatever, you know, handy dandy mandy. Oh, yeah. I just didn't know you guys were coming in so soon. I didn't get a chance, but I'll, I'll get to it. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Have a seat. Oh, the shoes are cute. Uh, They're real bright, but they ain't right. Uh, you got some boots? You know, because we got rattlers and scorpions. What size are you? Eight and a half? Well, I've been here my whole life. Really? My family's been here forever. You know, my great-grandparents came here in 1910. Here. This'll do you. Oh, hell yeah. Shit's disappointing, huh? Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, somebody called yesterday to give us a time. Filmmaker? Uh, no. Um, I'm an artist, too, so. Oh, I didn't realize. All right, guys, thank you for coming. Clear your next six weekends. All right. OK. I'm writing a play. Yeah, it's, a, it's about a couple from New York. It's not about a couple. It's about a, a woman. And she's trying to become somebody, but she hates herself. Hey. Hey. How are you? Nice. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, you'd ever let me use the space. I know it's a lot to ask, so... Ugh, actors for my play, they just need a place to meet up, you know, talk through ideas. You want me to take this mail? Cool. See ya. That moth. Fucking creepy. I want to stalk you and hunt you like prey. I want to find out where you live. I want to pull up to your house in my Kotex pink jalopy and open my trunk and show you my cunt red insides. I was born into a world that presumes there is something grotesque, unspeakable about female desire. And now all I want is to be undignified, to trash myself. I want to be a female monster. I want to be a female monster. I want to be a female monster. I want to have a kind of sex that makes breathing feel like fucking. I want to be a female monster. Uh, rehearsal got, you know, intense. We were kind of just like talking about like reading these letters and talking about cunt red stuff and Toby just kind of uh, you said you were I did get in trouble suck my cock Toby don't mind me I got fucking fired no that shit was not my fault don't call me Dolores No, I'm not fucking pouring drinks for out of work ranch hands. Are you right, kidding? You know are you kidding? Those tips are shit. Thank I'm not fucking around, man. The one time I actually. <sighs> I'm writing a play. I need a place to workshop it. I just want to know if I can use the bar to rehearse. This town is nothing but space, but it's all for rich cowboys and trust fund kids. And you know what much says? You sound a lot like mom. Dear Dick, I first saw you when I was five years old. The way you moved captivated me. You swaggered. You took your time like you knew the whole world would wait for you. I asked my parents for a pair of boots just like yours, and they got them for me. We all pretended we were friends, even though my grandparents had all worked on your land, just like their parents had. I loved watching you play cowboy with all your women. I knew I wanted to grow up to be like you. The hand, not the waist. When my girl cousins told me to act like a boy so that they could practice kissing, I pretended I was you. I had girlfriends from an early age. I was good at romantic gestures. I wrote poems that made girls cry. Hey, Mom. I'm home. Mom, what's Dick doing here? I was just talking to him about the ranch, Dolores. Shut the hell up. My name's Devin. We don't talk like that in this house. It's not ladylike. I'm not a lady. I was the first member of the Wendia family to go to college. I was gonna study playwriting, but then I met Sharon. I was in love for the first time in my life. Couldn't even go to class. 
Sharon would practice the cello every day for hours. I called my abuela to tell her that I'd met someone new. By this point, everybody in my family knew what that meant. She told me, Mika, it's better if that person loves you just a little bit more than you love them. Huh. Sharon never told her family about anything at all. Then one day, I bumped into her at a restaurant having lunch with a boy. I need to talk to you. We fought for days and days. And then one morning, she left me and she told people we'd never been together at all. I flunked out of school. I came back to Texas to figure out who the hell I should become. Aren't there snakes inside? I de-snaked it. What? I guess. This is our new home for rehearsals. OK, guys, let's do this. Gather up. <laughs> OK, pull out those letters and just shout out whatever hits you in the gut. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. That's All right, what is this? Potential sacred space. Looking pretty pink there. How long is this uh, treatise lecture or whatever thing going to last? Not really into it, by the way. It just seems to me like you're just real busy inflicting all your privilege on all these big working class, mostly brown dudes, just so that somebody out there or you can see what might happen. Come on, Toby, please. You're just, you're using these guys without their consent. You do realize this is like their livelihood? You know, they're human beings. They're not just your fucking lab rats. It's fucking unethical, okay? And irresponsible and honestly fucking pedestrian, Toby, and you know it. Oh, please. And you don't care because every white feminist out there is gonna come and congratulate you with a big pat on the back for being so brave and making art that's still subversive for what? The, the sake of being subversive? That's so fucking played out. It's bullshit, Toby. Okay, Toby, whatever. Fuck, the truth is, I just wish that you would come and sleep in my bed with me tonight. So, there. Do whatever you want with that information. I just. Now don't worry about this guy. I went to grade school with him. He's nothing but a fucking nap. Looking good, man. You don't look a day over 13. Cover that up, please. She doesn't need to do anything, man. She's not hurting anybody. I will fucking arrest you, Wendy. Oh, yeah? Oh, she has I believe I had to spend 500 bucks to get us out of jail. Yeah. I have dirt. It's so deep in my junk right now. It's like I was wearing pants. Want some banh mi? Just to, like take showers, get some banh mi. What? I mean, like, low key. Just. Is Chris around? No. That's cool. Be hilarious. Oh, come on, man. It's just chatter. It'll blow over. Give it a week. A little longer, OK? Maybe. I wrote a ritual performance thing, and we're putting it on tonight. You should come. It might be good to get out of the house. I'm out of the house. Hey, guys, what we're going to do right now is just, uh, we're going to walk in place, just like that. Shift your weight from one foot to another. Don't forget your hips. OK. Just keep moving. Good. Gentlemen, what we're doing today is we're going to offer up our beauty. It's a beauty dance. We're going to give our best, bravest, strongest beauty. Feel your face. One, two, three, four, and all that beautiful hair. And one, two, three, here I am. Five, six, seven, look left. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold yourselves. Just like that. Dear Marfa, we offer to you our beauty dance. Come join us. 